Hey, my name is Chris, and welcome to Anything Goes Episode 1! So in this case, you missed Episode 0, essentially what this show is, you guys leave comments down below or tweet them at me. <laughs> my Twitter is down below in the description, it's, it's unoriginal Chris. And then I do the things you tell me to do, or ask me questions, or pretty much anything. So, this first episode, I'm going to be taking questions for my Episode 0, where I pretty much was like, What do you guys want me to do? Slash ask me. So Daywar13 wants me to play the guitar behind me that you can no longer see. But it's still here, you see, right here. And so to that I say, okay. Ow! And the male says, It's time. Oh boy, I need my laptop for this one. Alexis Cervantes says, answer this question. Jimmy has two oranges in one hand and three apples in the other. Kyle Heller asks, when am I gonna replay Pitfall Lost Expedition? Never. Nah, just kidding. I do plan on playing that game really soon. Um, I got an HD PVR, a proper one. Now I just need something to make it so I can connect it to my Wii so I can play Pitfall. So, really soon. By really soon, I mean sometime in the next, like, I don't know, three to five months. <coughs> he picked these from trees with height ranges of 16 to 24 meters. When the sun comes out, the shadow of the taller tree is 15 meters. Zozero also wants me to play Rage Game, and every time I get mad, I, he wants me to do something terrible to my body, like put a clothespin or put an elastic. I don't have any um, the clothespin, so I'm gonna use elastics instead. Uh, and I'm also not gonna do it every time I rage, so I'm gonna do it every time I die. So, yeah, elastics it is. Um, let's begin. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay, so really, I did see this first lump. Here we go. I don't know how far I'm gonna go with this. I guess this and this way. <laughs> you thought you were a smart game, but you are not. I will get all your low dots. Well. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's a tight one. I'm just gonna let you naturally move across my face. Alright. Am I, am I a Japanese game show yet? I think I'm, this is probably improving my, uh, my my beauty. I'm probably very popular at this point among the ladies, the female specimens. <laughs> oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Where should I put this? Who is this? You don't want these yet? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, okay. I gotta beat the level of this one test. Trust me, I'm good. Ah, oh. there you go. This is what 20 elastics on a man's face looks like. Uh, quite frankly, I, I would agree it is probably a... Uh, it, it's a raise in my looks, I think. Um, I'll probably wear this out. Hmm. <laughs> a few lines. It doesn't look too bad, though. Looking at the time of day, if Timmy picks the fruit at 4.30 p.m. and the ratio of height to smaller tree is to, to Jimmy is 10 to 1, the best quarter wants me to dance. Show him my moves. <laughs> then Mod52 asks me, what inspired me to start Let's Play and doing video work? Well, this is more of a serious answer. But um, initially, I jumped on YouTube in the really early days of like, I don't know, 2006, 2007, maybe even actually. 2005 was when YouTube came out, right? Might have been early 2006. Anyways, right a few months after YouTube launched, uh, I started watching people on there. What the Buck was a big one. Actually, he was my main inspiration for starting a channel in the first place. Not because like I was a fan of his work, but because he posted a video like, how to be a YouTuber. And then at that point I was like, huh, YouTubing does sound kind of fun. And I actually had past channels before where I tried other things. And I was too young at the time when I watched the how to become a YouTuber video. And like I even knew I was too young, so I'm like, I'm gonna wait a few years, even though I don't really want to, but I was just, I was really too young to do anything I really wanted to do. So when I got older, I started getting into it. I did have like a skit channel. I it is still up. It's on Originally Crazy. If you want to check it out and see my past stupid work, and it, most of it's really stupid and dumb. But yeah, people who inspired me to do like actual Let's Plays, probably like Nintendo for Peace Sun. And those ones kind of is a little bit more controversial, but Toby Games was a big one as well. Um, I, I don't know, I just thought it looked really funny. Playing games, and I always talk over the games I played anyways, because I'm a crazy person, I talked to him so <laughs> More inspirations come from like uh, Minecraft. Just I love the community, the close knit community where they all play games together. Then one fifty two also asked me, uh, how did I meet my girlfriend? Um, I've been dating my girlfriend for a year and a half now. Uh, I met her through Facebook actually, when one of her friends was actually uh, messaging some of my friends and also me, kind of bullying us. So I kind of stood up to that and kind of gave her the old one too. 
punch her. I, did, I did punch her. I just kind of yelled at her. And then her friend Sam messaged me, which I didn't know at the time. And then she pretty much yelled at me for yelling at the person that was bullying me. And after I explained myself, uh, I thought she was kind of cool. And we just started talking. And then we fell deeply in love. Psycho Mario asks, how do you horse? How dare you? We don't take kindly to people like you. My mother was a horse, my father a sheep. If you could just laugh at us like the false god you are, you should feel ashamed of yourself. You're sick! You're sick! If you really want to see where my mother hails from, brace yourself. Wants me to show you guys my house. Okay, let's do this. All right, so here's my couch. Uh, magic couch stuff happens there. Um, still a pickle. That's my computer. Magic computer stuff actually happens there occasionally. Ooh, that's my bed. Uh, bed stuff happens there. Um, I, I guess we go in here. Uh, I don't remember what's in here to be honest. It's been a while. Uh, there's my speakers, my workbench. Oh, oh shit. We must never speak of this again. You saw, you saw nothing. You saw nothing. Well, the T game asked me, "What was my first console and game?" Well, my first kind of game I played was I got I got this these Digimon devices where you would shake them, and it was just like this little tiny screen. Uh, you had a Digimon, you'd walk, and then after you walk a certain amount of steps, you get to a battle, and there actually was like a if you shake it a hundred thousand times, that looks like something completely different. You shake it like that this many times, you make it to a boss, and then you fight the boss, then you evolve, and then you go on to the next boss. It actually was pretty fun, not gonna lie. There's even like mini little mini games and all. I wouldn't really consider that an actual console though, obviously. My first real um, portable thing, actually, my first ever like gaming thing was the Game Boy Advance that came with my favorite game of all time, Golden Sun, which was the actual first real game I owned followed by uh, Pokemon Yellow, and I think there was a few other Game Boy Advance games I got, but I, I don't even remember what those were anymore. It was a very long time ago. I think I got Golden Sun and my Game Boy Advance on my 5th, 6th, or 7th birthday. I don't remember for sure. Marcus wants me to make an omelet with cheese. Wow, you can't tell me to do anything. All right, so welcome to Cooking with Chris. Uh, here's my lovely uh, stove. This will be the pan I'll be making the omelet in. Uh, we're gonna begin by turning it on. Um, I'm just putting it on max. Uh, by the way, I've never eaten an omelet before. Uh, I, I don't know what's really. I know there's eggs. I know there's cheese. That that's it. I feel it's like green peppers in them sometimes. I don't freaking know. So I'm just gonna be wigging this. Oh, from here. All right. Now that the pan is being heated up, we've waited a few minutes. We are going to add the first ingredient: eggs. We can close at this. These eggs actually expired in uh, March. It's currently April. It says March 3rd on here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I, I guess we're just gonna toss eggs in here. We're just gonna. Ah! Oh, that didn't break. Uh, just use this. So that's first ingredient. Oh, that smells terrible already. Oh god. And then we're gonna throw a second egg in here. That went even worse that time. Great. Super. Um, it smells really bad. Uh, I don't know why. Time for a second ingredient. Cheese. And I'm not realizing how terrible, absolutely terrible it's going to be to clean up. Just throw cheese on there. Just like that, you see? Just like that. Super. Open this second cheese. This is just typical sliced cheese. Um, just, you know, kind of mash it up a little more. Great. Sprinkle it on. It'll make the omelet that much better when it's... Oh god, this... I... Ugh. It smells absolutely horrible. Now, I don't have any green peppers. The only other thing I know that sometimes put in omelets, I'm gonna use ketchup instead. This is normally a pretty good thing, right? Uh, mm. Oh, burning ketchup. Uh. Ah, it splashed me. Mmm, let's slow. Oh, there we go. Deliciousness. Oh, oh, oh. Kinda looks like a slice of pizza, doesn't it? Doesn't that just look great? Mmm. It doesn't actually the ketchup doesn't make it smell too bad. I'm kinda surprised. <coughs> Change <of> mind. <coughs> so this is my end result. That's the underside of it. Let's see what it looks like when I flip it over again. Oh hold on. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not looking forward to cleaning this up. That's gonna smell. Oh god. Alright, um. With my better judgments, 
see what its old eggs taste like. It's a nice meaty piece. All right, let's make sure it doesn't fall. All right. Cool. Me to go to an ice cream place, ask them if they believe in unicorns, get an ice cream cone, plop it on my head, and then run away! Hey, can I get a small vanilla ice cream? Plain? And a cone? Sure. Anything else? Nope. $2.90. Hey. Right. Awesome. Here for a napkin? I don't think. Actually, I have one last question. Yes. Do you believe in unicorns? All the time. Nay! Nay! My people need me! Okay, that's all I have time for, for today. I thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of Anything Goes. If you want to leave your support, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be nice. Maybe press the subscribe button right here. You, you see it? Mm. I'm petting it. Yes, it's very nice, isn't it? Now, I didn't get to do every single comment that was left for me in episode zero. Um, I might go back to those and choose some more, but I certainly want you guys to leave more questions down below and more things for me to do. The more creative, the better. I do do serious ones, but I also really like the creative ones. I just get to do whatever and be entertaining. So it really depends on how the questions ask and what I feel like doing at the time. Now I do certainly want to make this a more frequent series than once a month. I don't know how much. Uh, this will be a series that's just kind of posted whenever I have time to record since it is a lot of work. Um, so if you guys like this, I'll put more of an effort into doing these more consistently. And lastly, uh, I'm going to be posting an outtakes video down below as well if you guys want to see the entire video of me putting last things on my face. Maybe I'll also include the full video of me doing the ice cream cone prank. At this point in time, I haven't recorded that yet, so I don't even know how well that's going to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this first episode. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!